Do you fear for US-China relations under a Trump presidency? Well, I don't fear. I think a healthy and positive China-US relationship is so critical, especially in this century. Number one, number two economy in the world. If they're working together, they can solve a lot of problems. Poverty, disease, environment. But if they don't like, if they don't work each other, it's going to be a disaster. But if you look at what has been said on the campaign trail, China, a currency manipulator on day one of a Trump presidency, massive punitive uh, taxes, tariffs on Chinese goods going to the US, that must worry you. It worried me, but it's not that much. I think when he become the president, when he has the burden, because before I become the CEO of Alibaba, uh, I can talk like this and that. When I become the CEO of Alibaba, I know life is not easy. The world is not that simple as he thought. Donald Trump become the president of America, and he's a smart person. He will adjust. He should never and he will never neglect the relationship between China and America. Jack, if you were asked mm -hmm. to give advice to a new Trump administration, mm -hmm. what would you tell them? Focus on trade, improve globalization, and improve the relationship and the understanding between China and America. We are in 21st centuries, working together to improve globalization, working together to improve trade. That will help both countries to create more jobs. Have you, have you met him? Not yet. You were quite close to President Obama. You appeared on stage several times together. Are you looking forward to meeting the new president? Yeah, yeah I'll be happy to discuss with the, uh, the job creation, small business, entrepreneurship, trade between America and the world and trade between China and America. This is, I would love to discuss. I think nobody can neglect business, trade, jobs, small business, entrepreneurs in the 21st century.